Honourable. Actually, Mr. Speaker, I agree with you. I think uh, what the uh, Senate is trying to do, Mr. Speaker, would be rewriting our constitution. There's nothing wrong if Senate wants a little bit more power. I thought we gave them too little power in terms of financial management, but that should be done in a pro procedural manner. We amend the constitution and allow more leverage to the Senate. But as it is, Mr. Speaker, I'm in concurrence with the committee that uh, we need to reject this proposal. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Speaker. Makali Mulu, take one minute also, and I'll finalize with Omboko Milemba one minute. Yeah, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I, I do agree with my colleagues in terms of what they are saying. The truth of the matter, Honorable Speaker, is the matters of public debt are closely associated with budget deficits, and this is a budget for the national government. I mean, it's the totality of the budget. And where there is need to borrow, even at the county level, because if you look at the Constitution, Honorable Speaker, the Senate is supposed to be promoting the interests of the counties. So even where counties are expected to, to, to borrow, Honorable Speaker, they are always guaranteed by the national government. So matters public debt at national level, and the only thing which the Senate can do, Honorable Speaker, is by a dissolution of the House, the Senate, is, is already provided for in Article 211. They can actually, by resolution, get a lot of details relating to debt issues, but not by straight, uh, straight arrangement where they get reports straight from uh, the, the, the Treasury to them. So on those basis, Honorable Speaker, I think it's important we don't rewrite the Constitution. So I support the rejection, Honorable Speaker. Thank you. Thank you. Last, Mboko Milemba, one minute. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Just in one minute, that uh, Article 93 speaks very clearly about uh, the two houses created Senator and the National Assembly. But 95 proceeds to speak about the roles of the National Assembly and the Senate. And uh, in 95, the matters, budget, and the past of this country, like in many other jurisdictions, is under the preview of National Assembly. And as a member of this committee, when we looked at it, Honorable Speaker, we realized that this could be a very small but uh, direct encroachment on the powers otherwise that are bestowed on the National Assembly. And if allowed, we would have actually redrafted our own constitution. And therefore, we advise that we reject this and uh, have the Senate do its work as prescribed in Article 96 and the National Assembly do its uh, functions as prescribed in Article 95. Furthermore, and lastly, Honorable Speaker, it will create another layer of bureaucracy in the budget-making process because borrowing is part and parcel of the budget-making process. If that happens, the timelines that are so envisaged in the Constitution will actually be bridged, and therefore I support the rejection. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable members, order, take your seats or freeze wherever you are. Honorable members, now.